It all comes down to this to decide who gets promoted to Champions 1. Welcome back to the channel for another episode. Guys, this is going to be an intense war. This is War 7 of our CWL. We are in Champs League 2, and check out the season standings. This is number one versus number two, and this is going to be a great matchup. Obviously, we are trailing by ten, two stars, but if we win this, we get that 10-star bonus. Now, friends forever still are kind of within reach, so we got to be careful. We got to play this smart, but it is pretty much a two-team race right here. And what we're going to do is we are going to try to highlight as many of the hits as possible from Mad Ram and show off and hopefully get promoted to Champs 1. But if we don't, you guys will see that as well. But it's all coming down to this final war. Hopefully you guys are pumped up for it. I know I'm a little bit nervous, but we got to brush those nerves aside and make it happen in this war, guys. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to start looking at bases, start planning and get all that kind of stuff ready. And uh, we'll probably hit tomorrow on stream, actually. Uh, but if you guys are pumped up for this video, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on all those notifications because this is going to be a wild finish all right guys so i didn't catch it live but hockey pro started us off with a three star and we got three two star defenses so we're definitely starting off on the right track hockey is going to come in here with a yeti smash he's going to go ahead and use a yeti bomb to take out this top compartment here look at the value he gets once this gets going uses a coco luna out in front let's go ahead and speed this or slow this down a little bit he's going to go ahead and take out all these defenses right in here the eagle artillery the uh single target inferno and then he's going to use a queen walk to walk his queen and set the funnel for the rest of the smash to come in. So here comes that queen up top. Notice the king doesn't go down there, but it's not a big deal because he's low health, so the queen will be able to take him down. But look at that, man. He got the single, he got the eagle, he got that expo. So much value. He also has the warden in there just helping uh, boost, boost up the queen's damage and keep her moving along. He's going to go ahead and start a yeti along that left-hand side just to push the other yetis right back towards the middle of the base. And this is a great funnel. Off to a nice start here. And this is exactly what we need. I wish I would have caught this one live. This would have been an exciting one to commentate. But we're, we're still seeing it. We're still seeing it. Uh, so everything's in at this point. Pretty much got all the yetis, all the wizards, everything in. And usually what we do is if there's singles, we use yetis. If it's multis, you switch to pekkas. So that's usually the guideline that Sky's kind of taught us uh, as we've been using the smash attacks. But nice warden ability through the town hall. Good rage spell to get through there. Uh, some of those wizards are going to take some damage and get taken out. But he's still got plenty of yetis. He's going to get through this royal champion. The queen is still nice and healthy. The yetis are going to pop to the outside of the base here. And that's actually going to be nice and key as they're going to start working around. Queen's going to pop back in here. He's going to get towards that single target inferno. Get that out with the queen and the royal champion. And man, guys. Oh, I'm so pumped for this. This is exactly what we need. A, a couple of that with the three defenses. We are off to a great start to have a chance to win this war. Uh, but from here, it's pretty much just the queen and the royal champion to clean up. Uh, notice the royal champion still got our ability. Pops it right there. Tried to hold it as long as he could, but not quite enough uh, to get through that last defense. That bomb tower before she threw. Getting through here, getting to the scatter shot. And you can see, guys, it's clean up. We already know it's a three-star, right? Uh, so we'll speed this one up. Queen goes inside at like 400 IQ queen plays. Plenty of Yeti still up. Queen uh, pretty healthy. And man, what a nice attack. Like, uh, finding that tornado at the end, like, if the blimp found that, that would have been dangerous. Let's see if we can keep that momentum going. All right, guys, so just a little bit of an update. Seven hours left, and it is 10 to 17. They've gotten three triples, so we're going to have a little bit of work to do. We have two, though, on three lust attacks, so we're actually sitting pretty nice. Uh, it's just going to be a little bit of an interesting night to see how this unfolds. I'll try to catch some attacks live. I won't show the replay, but it was JJ that tripled this base right here, so... I think we're in a pretty good situation right now. Just caught the end of Dick's attack here, and it looks like he's gonna get a three-star with some swag. Check this out, guys. Oh my goodness. I just happened to get in right at the, <laughs> the last moment here. Uh, what do we got left? One building. Oh, we got the storage right here. But that's gonna be a three-star, and that's gonna get us all knotted up. We did have another three-star as well from Skeens, but we gave up three-star. But I think it's gonna be four to four on three-stars, so we are gonna be sitting really nice right now. Oh, baby, a triple. Let's go. Nice attack. He has been crushing it with that P.E.K.K.A. It's like super go wipe. Maybe I need to cover that. All right, so here we are. We're at six attacks for 16, which is four three stars. We could see here one, two, three, four. And then they're at 10 attacks for 24, which is also 
four three stars, but obviously we have a four attack cushion. Uh, how are we looking on percentage right now? Uh, we're up slightly on percentage. Percent is really close, but let's see. Oh, this is going to be crazy. All right, guys, I caught Posty here at the beginning of the attack, so we can see a full attack. So he's going with the drag bat. He's been doing really well with this this week. Uh, looking like using some sneakies just to clear out some of these buildings. Going to potentially work the king and queen in towards this eagle compartment. Get that all out. Set the funnel, set the pathing here for the dragons, and then he's going to go straight at the town hall from this side, it looks like. So... King Queen will have no problem getting right on through this compartment. Uh, we got the Baby Dragon working on that Archer Tower. Nice. Good funnel established over there on the top side. Uh, he'll have the King's ability here right there. Perfect. Right there to get the Eagle down. And then the Queen should get in here and get these two air defenses down as well. So this is off to a great start. The funnel is perfect. Uh, needs the Queen just to go over and get this air defense out just to help cushion these dragons. Of course, she's going to go for the storage instead. That's all right. He'll be fine. Uh, she'll go over here, get this out. The king is tanking the scatter. That's actually massive. The dragon's on the world champion. Now, here comes that blimp. Queen's going to work around. She's going to get that next air defense out as well. This is looking strong, guys. All right, so he's going to have to pop the warden's ability. Perfect. Right there. Look, I'm, we're, we're on the same page here, Post. Let's get it. Uh, the one issue I'm seeing here, nothing went for that multi in the middle. Also, he just caught a tornado on his blimp. That's a little bit scary, but it doesn't look like it's going to hurt him. The blimp should still make it here. Blimp's going to land. That multi in the middle goes down. Uh, not too much splash up, but he's got the scatter shot right here, but he's also got his royal champion ability as well. He's going to go ahead and run in an ice golem to tank right here. All right, nice, nice. And here comes the royal champion as well. Royal champion will get that scatter up. He's got plenty of dragons down there on the bottom side. He's just got to get the, the royal champion through the scatter, which, uh, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Oh my goodness, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. All right, royal champion's going to get the scatter down. No problem, it looks like. He's got plenty of dragons. Oh, this is a three star. I'm calling it right now, guys. This is a three star attack. He does have that sweeper pushing the bats away, but the scatter is going to go down. All he's got left is the wizard tower, but the wizard tower is being tanked right there. Good freeze to save the royal champion. Oh, baby, this is definitely three star. Let's go. Mad Ram on fire. Plenty of cleanup. He doesn't have any storages or anything. He's got one storage, but he's got 53 seconds with the royal champion up. We are going to be on top after this attack from post GG's. Let's go. Man, we are sitting nice, making the moves, coming through when we need to. That's what we like to see, man. It's a team effort, and the boys are coming in clutch. Nice. That was literally the very next attack after Dick. So we are technically up a three-star, sitting nice with five and a half hours left. All right, so let's update the scoreboard. I just got back home. I'm getting ready to fire upstream, which means I'm going to be getting ready to attack here soon. So uh, they did have actually a one-star against T-Rex, but they did make that up with a three-star. However, they just two-starred. So they got two attacks left, and we are up one three-star on them. So we're in a pretty nice situation. Uh, we're at five three-stars. They're technically at five three-stars as well. Uh, but they have the one star, so it's basically like they're at four, three stars. So I'm going to fire upstream. Uh, we'll probably hop on voice with the fellas, and man, this is going to get fun. All right, guys, Hendo is in with his first of two attacks. He's going to go ahead and take down the town hall here with the drag loon combination. Uh, not going to quite get to this air defense, I don't think, but that's all right. Uh, town Hall's down and secured. At this point, we need to make sure we're securing town halls. Uh, we're going to start the funnel up here with the king. And maybe get him in towards the scattershot air defense compartment. We'll see. We'll see. I would expect to see the queen here. We'll see. All right. Maybe he could probably clear this whole compartment with the king and maybe run the queen opposite. All right. King's going to get through here. He's going to heal that king. He zaps right there. There's the queen on the opposite side. Yeti's going to break her in. Ooh, I like the way this funnel's looking. Queen's going to have to beat through these skellies, no problem. She's going to pop her ability to get through the single target in front of the king's ability. is going to go off. He's going to get through the scatter shot, get through the royal champion, get through the air defense. We do have a herd of archers coming out of the clan castle, along with a couple super minions and a headhunter. But that's all right. Tons of dragons will just get right on through there. All right, here we go. Main phase of the attack is in. He's got dragons. He's got balloons. He's got his warden to use the warden's ability. Warden did take a little bit of damage, I think, from the headhunters. But all those archers are already dispersed of. He's trying to get in here and get to this scatter shot in the middle. Obviously, get that out will be really, really nice. It looks like a balloon's going to come over top of it. And we'll have a dragon on top as well. Tornado trap goes off, so he knows that the tornado's down as well. We get the royal champion. The royal champion can go in probably up top, I would think, here. Uh, probably up here, like, towards this air defense. Yeah, okay. Just going right for the wizard towers, uh, which is a good read. Get those wizard towers out, and he'll be fine. All he's got to do is deal with the multi at that point. Because he's still got the bats. He's still got plenty of cleanup. 
Royal Champion's going to work through here. And really all he's got to do here is just bat bomb this base. Uh, probably start from the bottom side so you can get the cleanup working. Uh, the multi's going to go down. Get the bats in. Get the bats in at the bottom and you're good. Get the bats in at the bottom. Oh, he's going top. Okay. I mean, that's fine too. Don't don't worry about me. Get clean up in behind that. And this is a three star, guys. Clean up in behind that and it's a three star. Let's go. All right. He's going to get a sneaky minion in as well. The, oh, the RC is going to get caught on the stupid king. All right. Looking good. He's got a sneaky goblin for that storage right there. He's got his archer in. And 40 seconds. This is going to be a three star for Hendo. That's going to put us back up to plus two. That one minion just got obliterated by three red air bombs. Oh my goodness. Hendo. OP. Let's go, boys. Nice. They'll get right through this king. No problemo. He's got the minions to help out. He's got a swagalicious freeze. Oh, man. 17 seconds. Plenty of time to get through the storage. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Hendo coming in clutch with his first of two, putting us back to plus two. All right, guys. It's my turn to attack now. And I've been FCing this base, and we got plans to back up plans and other plans of how to three-star this base. We're going to go with the Houdini E-Drags. I'm going to Houdini out the town hall, run the hero. You'll see what I'm doing. I'm just going to attack. That way I don't build more pressure, build more suspense. Army looks correct. All right. Hendo's on the spot with me. Let's Get it, Hendo. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, chat just pointed out that we did not have a poison, but that's fine. We can live without a poison. You have a hound. Oh, crap. We have the whole thing. We have the whole thing wrong, don't we? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't panic, chat. I'm not panicking. I'm just we're an all right. idiot. We're all right. We're all right. All right. Drop the blimp. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Archers. Headhunters and two, supers. three, four. All right, that's not exactly what we wanted there, but that's okay. We're right, fine. Let's go there. Let's go there. I'm going to let the only thing work. you have left is the two supers. Okay. Oh, they're down. They're down. We're good. Yeah, the wizard, the super wizards took them down. All right, King's going to walk perfect. Nice. Queen should get the storage. We're still in business. We're still fine. Yeah, we're we're still fine. We're we're in good shape. Yep, we are fine. Still on plan here. I I I was I did not. Uh, I had the army trained up last night, and I forgot that I went and did all my legends attacks before I came back to this. It's all right though. The the base is looking one hundred percent the same so far. Yeah, nothing's nothing's different. We did get that mortar out early though, which is nice. Uh, let's go ahead and run it all in. Run it all in, Daddyo. Dude, my fingers are shaking so much. You're fine. <laughs> it's perfect so far. Yeah, it's exactly that's one hundred percent the plan. Yep. All right, let's keep moving through here. Let's run in the royal champion there. Let's freeze there. Let's go ahead and freeze right here. All right. Let's go ahead and yeet through here with her. What's your queen? She's on the scatters on her. Okay, okay, okay. I got her. I got her. I got her. You left the scatter behind. RC's working. Oh, that back end air defense is gonna be a problem. That's alright. Yeah, gonna it's get, hurting you bad. We're gonna get through the for the two. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's gonna be a two. How did nothing go for that scatter? We got too much down with the chain there. Like that mortar didn't stay up like it did. Yeah, you only had the. A wad of E-Drags went to the center, and you had one E-Drag over there yeah, on the yeah. scatter. That's all you had over there. Yeah, that's a shame. Uh, that's about how my week's been going, though. Everything going sideways. <laughs> So just a quick note about my attack here. In the original plan, this mortar stays up and I'm able to split a few dragons over here. I actually like have two to three dragons usually over here. Uh, so I ran with my original plan, not seeing that this air defense and scatter are not gonna go down. So I throw the Royal Champion in early, which is part of the original plan, but really I needed to hold the Royal Champion and put her in over here. And that caused a huge failure on my plan. All right, guys, Steven is in with E-Drags on this one. He actually tripled this base earlier in the week with this very same attack. This is a very popular Legends base that is a pain in the neck. So we'll see if he can get through here and get the three-star. E-Drags are working. He's got his heroes in early. He's going to go ahead and get the town hall down with the balloons and the dragon, which is going to keep the electro dragons out of the poison, which is clutch here. Uh, he's got a nice push through. He's got that scatter and the eagle still up. But he's got plenty of troops still working. Is the king up? The, looks like the king is down. 
that Electro Dragon does not quite get to the Eagle Artillery. Here comes the Royal Champion, though. She's going to push around the base and help out a little bit. Queen's ability is, is still in hand. Royal Champion's still obviously going to have her ability, but he's got a lot in that core and no way to get there. Freezes the bow, freezes the Inferno, pops the ability here. He's going to freeze again just to keep that all there. He's going to try to get that bow down. It's going to be tough, man. It's going to be tough. He's still going to shot. Oh, the e drag goes down. Queen's going to have to fight off this Royal Champion. It's not going to quite get there, but it's going to be decent percentage. Uh, which is still fine. We're still plus two. They still have to go perfect on their attacks. He's going to pop his Queen's ability. He'll get to, what, 90. Just that push through the middle died out, and the Queen did not get into the middle. She had a, a chance to go to the middle. She did not, though. But we'll take the 90% here from Steven. Uh, it puts us in a good spot. We'll update the scoreboard after this. Let's see if these minions... I think these minions are... It's one minion. This one minion's about to get obliterated. Oh, the poor unicorn. That poor unicorn. So 90% from Steven against that tough ring. That ring is... Man, that ring is tough. But... Uh, it was between me and him to take that. <laughs> Props to him from taking that so I could go mess up my attack. <laughs> uh, but let's check things out. We are tied. Notice we have one less attack, though. And we are down a little bit on percent. We had we had two kind of sketchy attacks that went a little bit sideways. But we are still in the driver's seat. They got two attacks, and they have to triple both of them. Let's see how this one finishes, guys. All right, guys. This is one of our final two attacks. Liberty is coming in with the Super P.E.K.K.A. Smasher. He had to wait so long because he, one of his Super Troops expired. So he had to wait for uh, to be able to pop the Super Wizards for this attack. But he is in. He's going to Warden Walk right here. He might go for the Town Hall here. I did not hear his plan when they were discussing it. So I'm not 100% sure. But it looks like, and if he's patient enough here, he could get the Town Hall out with this warden walk we'll see what he does if he decides to go that way but he does have a blimp selected so he could we'll see man i think he should go for the town hall and just get it out yeah here we go warden's on the town hall he's he's committed to it now you got to go for it now uh warden's there warden will be fine as, as far as health goes he missed the healers with the rage but the unicorn's fine that could have been bad if he didn't have a unicorn all right warden gets the town hall down Beautiful. One star secured. Here comes the Pekka's. Pekka's will pull the Warden out of here and down to that bottom side. He's going to use the King to cut it off with the Siege Barracks. Nice switch over to the Siege Barracks. Here we go with all the Super Wizards. The Pekka's are in. The Witches are in. Everything is in at this point. It is all in for Liberty. He's got a jump connecting these two compartments. He's going to go ahead and Rage Spell right through here. He's got that Scatter Shot firing on the Pekka's. He's got Super Minions, Headhunters out of the Clan Castle. Oh, baby. It's all coming down to this. He needs a Poison Spell down. There goes that Poison Spell. King finally gets down the multi-target in front. He's got the wizards working through here. Giant bomb goes off. Healers are switching to the middle of the base. We still got one more rage spell. We got the king pushing through here. Royal champion should come in a little bit later. We might see her down towards six o'clock to push everything back in the base. We'll see. Queen, what? Oh, did he forget his queen? Oh my goodness, why are we forgetting queens again? He forgot his queen, chat. Oh no. Oh no. All right. Uh, the royal champion needs to go in though. Uh, at this point, do you go? Oh, there's a lot of base up. There's a lot of base up. Royal Champion at... I feel 6. Uh, he's going to go 12. I, I was going to say, I feel 6 is still the move just because the, the 12 o'clock is a little bit naked up there. Queen's going to have to pop her ability. She'll be able to squeeze through here. She might be able to get that scatter shot down as it's distracted. He's got the P.E.K.K.A. still working here. He's got the Royal Champion's ability. Queen gets through there. He's still got just a few more defenses, and he's looking really nice here, guys. He's got a balloon. He's got the Royal Champion's ability. 42 seconds. Invisibility spell goes down to protect the Royal Champion, and this is looking like a three-star for Liberty, which is going to secure things. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Liberty coming in clutch. Wait until the last minute with those super troops oh baby this is exactly what we needed we had a little rough patch there from mad ram but we bounced back oh man liberty gg let's go nothing but ggs in the chat for my man liberty that should secure everything we still have one more attack to go but we are sitting pretty now we are up three stars they only have two attacks to go man what a nice attack by liberty all right hendo you got this Hendo's in with our final attack of the war. This is for champs one, guys. Hendo just needs to secure the two. We do get the Tesla farm up early. Gonna go ahead and knock that down with the heroes. Love it. Love it, Hendo. 
You guys might hear Hendo here on voice if there's anything crazy happening. King, queen going to work through here. I think your king's going to go right in there and get that, man. He's going to step out there. Yeah, but he should come back in if he does. He's going to come back in. Yeah. Hound's pulled. Ice going. Queen's coming in. Ooh, Queen going to get the Town Hall. Get the Town Hall. Get the Town Hall. Nice. Gets Queen down. gets the Town Hall before gets the down. Hound pops. Perfect. Perfect. Hound's going to pop. All right. Nice. 20% secured. You just need 30 more percent. Okay. <laughs> Blimp coming in for the Eagle. And you weren't lying. You were going super safe, huh? <laughs> I told you I was going super safe, my man. Uh, I don't blame you, Daddy-O. I don't blame you. Don't, don't leave anything to chance. All right, dragons are in. And once this two star is secured, guys, we are going to be gravy. And here we go. Dragons working. Rage spells down. We got the warden ability popping off right there. Beautiful warden ability, Hendo. All right, dragons go over here. L look, I want Hendo to get a three star here, Joe. That's all I'm saying. You know, this is Dra probably the wrong side to go, but we're going to go for it. All right, you, I mean, you got the two, so you're fine. They're in with their final attack, so we can check that out. RC is coming in here. Uh, Multi's going to go down, Hendo, so all you're going to have is scatter up Man. for defenses. Bat bomb the scatter. Yeah, bat bomb the scatter. Oh, and we're, we're fine. Let, let yeah, I don't even think you need bat bomb the scatter. You're gravy, dude. <laughs> you are gravy. Just make sure you freeze the hell out of it and you'll be fine. All right, they're going to go over to... Oh, I didn't see the mortar over there. That's all right. Freeze is working. Freeze the single. Come on, Hendo. Finish a strong, daddy. Oh, finish a strong, Hendo. Make a statement. Uh, clean up, Let's clean up, send perfect. Let's go, Hendo. Let's go. Three star to finish. Bo's gonna go down, not stand a chance. 43 seconds, plenty of time for cleanup. Let's go, man. And that was the safe plan. I don't want to know the risky plan. <laughs> the Let's blimp all go. the way across the base plan. I, I'm glad you decided to change your mind. That was clean, Hendo. Nice hit, brother. Let's go. Uh, can we get some more GGs in the chat for my man Hendo? Oh, baby, a triple three-star. Three-star. All right, their final attack is in here on Hockey Pro. We'll check it out. But you see, we got the war one thirty-eight. The most they can cap out at is 35. Looks like another hybrid attack here. Queen's coming in. Nothing but GGs flying in the chat. Yeah, got to love it. Queen's going to get held up here. Ooh, that single's going to – he's going to have to freeze that single. He does not freeze the single. Does not freeze the single. Okay, that's a that's a bold move, Cotton. Let's see how it plays out for him. <laughs> hey, hey guys. Um, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but we made it to champs one. Yes, we did. Let's go. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's it's God. only been a the two and a half year, year journey. Grind, right? <laughs> two and a half year grind. Oh man. my goodness. Go Let's grind. go. <laughs> All right, his blimp's coming in. I mean, his queen lost her ability, but she's fighting through this. Let's see if they can finish strong. Nothing but GGs for Balkan as well. Uh, nothing but love for them and their clan, our group. We got a little luckier earlier in the week. If you guys watch the streams, you guys know exactly. We got a little bit lucky earlier in the week, but we'll take it. Sometimes you just need a little luck. It looks like this one's fizzling out quickly. Yeah, and that true. should be the ball game, guys. Our CWL group will end after this attack, I believe. Or should be, I mean, there's nothing left to say. I mean, it's going to all be over. It's all going to be over. We're going to get to see the badge pop and everything. And we're going to get to see it all live. Popping up on the stream. What a beautiful thing. Oh, he's going for the extra percentage. All right. I, I, get, <laughs> I get you, homie. But come on. All right. There we go. Uh, what is he? He's got his owl left. Owl beating on a wall. He's just torturing us. He's just torturing us with the owl beating on a wall. All right, GG to Balkan. Mad Ram getting the victory, 38 to 34. And if we go to the season info, we're going to have to wait, but Mad Ram sitting on top. Let's wait for that to pop up because the CWL will end any moment now. The final standings for the Mad Ram, guys. Dick came in with a nearly perfect week, 20 stars. Posty with a huge week as well, 19 stars. Hendo and Sky carrying... Ah, oh, beautiful. I don't want to talk about my week, guys. <laughs> I don't. I had a rough week, man. It happens. T-Rex, GG on stepping up and subbing in and handling business. Uh, those guys carried hard. I had a real rough week. But it's a team effort. At least that's what I'm going to tell you here today. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my goodness. I'll take it. Season I'll results. Take it. Let's pop it. We got promoted to champs one. Let's go. Oh my god. Nice. Look at that in chat. Look at nice. it in chat. It looks so good in chat. Easy claps. Oh, beautiful guys. Let's go, man. Ah, oh, what a great feeling. Man, what a journey, guys. That was such a good feeling. It's taken us so long to get here, but all the hard work has finally paid off and we made it to Champs 1. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Most importantly, don't forget to keep on Clash Bashing. While you watch that whole video, here's another video that YouTube thinks you'll like, and here's a playlist of similar videos.